Hi everyone, my name is Lynn and I help people connect to their truest self. So today's video is going to be all about what to do with unpleasant thoughts and emotions. Now I have a lot of people come to me and ask about, you know, that they are currently feeling, feeling certain things or they're currently having themes in their life, like for, for example, feeling sad and angry and frustrated a lot and they just don't want to feel this way anymore they don't want those emotions so then what do they do so that's what this video is going to be all about so I get right into it there's not much of an intro here today so the first thing you can do with unpleasant emotions and thoughts is to simply be curious and not resist now every time we resist our unpleasant thoughts and emotions every time we resist anything we end up doing the exact opposite of what we intend to do we experience the exact opposite of what we want to experience meaning every time we try to push away a certain thought or emotion so perhaps you're feeling sad or angry we're like i don't want to feel sad i don't want to feel angry anymore what happens is that you feel more sad and you feel more angry it's kind of like think of it as in you're trying to shut a door and at the same time someone's trying to open that same door nothing's actually happening you're probably going to tie yourself out right that's what a resistance looks like you're trying to shut the door while someone else is trying to open it right so what you want to do is to be curious and being curious looks like letting go and i'm sure you guys have heard that many many times is to let go but how do you do that how do you be curious and how do you let go so look at it for for instance let's say um someone has a fear of driving right and so if someone has a fear of driving a lot of the times their unpleasant emotions and thought would be someone's going to crash into me or i'm going to crash into that person i'm going to hurt someone or i don't know if i can drive well enough i'm not good at changing lanes all those sorts of things they're quite unpleasant thoughts and emotions right so instead of delving into that story of theirs normally so what you want to do is be curious by pulling out and being an observer so what that would look like in that situation is Hmm, I noticed that I'm feeling quite ang uh, quite scared, quite anxious. I'm curious as to what's going on. I'm curious as to why I'm feeling scared. I'm curious as to why I'm afraid to sit in this seat right now, right? Do you see the difference in tone? Do you guys see the difference in thought patterns and way of being, right? It's very important to be curious. Now, how do we be curious though? Because I think that is a very hard thing to practice because we're constantly on this survival instincts, you know, that fight flight instinct. So being curious does take a lot of practice. But kind of think of it this way. Wayne and I did this um, really good example and I absolutely love it, so I'll share it with you guys. So he basically said, imagine there's a bucket of water. So imagine there's a bucket of water and you want to scoop up the water to be able to hold it, right? What do you do? So what happens if you were to quickly and um, really fastly and hastily grab the water and clench it in your hands, right? What would happen? Most likely, the water would just seep out of your hands if you tried to quickly grab it like that, right? But what happens if you just gently, slowly scoop up the water like this from your hands? Most likely, if you were to do this way, this tactic, there will be more water in the palm of your hands in comparison to when you try to quickly clench it like that, right? And this represents you being resistant or us being resistant towards our thoughts and emotions. So what that means is that we want to be soft and flexible and curious. We don't want to force anything onto anything else, basically. Kind of like, think, like if I was to ask you guys, what do you think is stronger, a cliff or the ocean? A lot of people actually end up saying the cliff because it's more solid and it's more hard. But if you look more closely, the cliff eventually erodes away because of ocean, because of wind, all these sorts of things. So even though the cliff is solid and hard and quite resistant, it doesn't withstand it. It doesn't withstand water. And because water is very flexible, it doesn't try to force anything. It just simply moves along whatever's in its way, whatever's being presented in front of it. So the idea is we want to be curious. We want to be soft. We want to be flexible with what's going on. We don't want to force anything out. We don't want to force any replacements as well. We just simply want to observe and notice it. That's, that's pretty much it. And this does take a lot of practice, but I can guarantee you guys, once you start practicing this, you'll notice a vast change in your state of being. 
So the second thing that you can do with unpleasant emotions is to thank it. You're probably thinking, why would I want to thank things that are not nicely? Like, why would I want to thank my emotions that's telling me that I'm not good enough or that I'm shit? <laughs> but the reason why you want to thank her is because those thoughts and emotions are there as an opportunity for you to see the other side. And what I mean by that is we all came here on Earth with particular emotional pains, emotional bodies and blockages. We all came with that. And so for instance, some of us, I've worked with people that have uh, themes of I'm not good enough or themes of um, powerlessness or the themes of um, everything's always uh, against me or someone's always doing me wrong, right? Those are some themes that we, some of us may have reincarnated here or came here to experience. And the reason for that is because we can't experience who we truly are with that experience the opposite end. It's kind of like we can't, we don't know what light is until we experience darkness and we don't know what white is until we know what black is, right? So these unpleasant emotions and thoughts are there as an opportunity for you to release, become aware of, so that you can experience who you truly are, why you're truly here, right? So I would say take some time out to really explore some of these themes because we all have it. These themes came, started from a very young age. You know, go back to when you first experienced some of these themes of yours. So a lot of common themes that I've worked with people is that I'm not good enough. It's a very common thing because society does quite shape it quite well, to be honest. Um, so yes, explore these themes. And you'll notice that what happens with these themes is that they reoccur throughout your different relationships in life. So you may enter relationships with various people, but these themes would reoccur um, irregardless of who you're in the relationship with. They're just manifesting in different forms. So... It's not a matter of whether you are good enough or not good enough or whether someone is doing you wrong. It's just a matter of these things are being presented to you as opportunities for you to release um, so that you can truly experience who you truly are on the other side. So yes, I would say thank it. I know that they're there for a reason and they're not just there because divine source or God or whoever you want to call it um, or whatever you want to call it, put it there because they think it's funny or <laughs> other people are doing it to you or against you. They're there really as an opportunity for you to evolve, evolve your soul and this process being here on earth. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was quite a different video, a difficult video to talk about as well because these things are very hard to verbalize for me it's one of those feeling experiences but i tried my best to put them in words so i hope you guys um understood that um if not you can just comment below um about any confusions and hopefully i can explain it even further so yes that's it for the end of this week i hope you guys enjoy the video and i will see you guys next time bye